Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. So I know it's been forever since I've posted a video and I'm starting to feel like I'm saying that every time I post a video I have to start off with an excuse. Um, you guys know if you're a regular subscriber of mine that I work a lot of crazy hours. I said that in my last video. Um, nothing has changed since then. I'm still working a lot of crazy hours and I just really haven't been having the time and haven't been feeling really motivated to do videos. Um, for YouTube, I just haven't really had the time. I've been really tired. Like, I sleep most of the time when I have a few extra hours to just, like, chill out to myself. I'm asleep. So, <laughs> um, but yeah, that's pretty much my reason why you guys haven't seen me uh, more active on my channel. And I want that to change. I really do want to make more videos. I really love, like, sharing my beauty experiences with you guys when I find new amazing products. Um, and share that with you guys so um, I'm going to try to do that more so this video is pretty much a collective haul video um, this is uh, basically just me showing you the products that I've accumulated since the last time you guys seen me do a video um, I've been doing a lot of shopping and I just got a lot of new not a lot but I got some new stuff that I've really been loving and I want to just share with you guys because um, you might see something that intrigues you you might want to try out so um I'm all like all over the place. I feel so uncomfortable on camera right now, but like this is my first time doing this. This is like weird. But yeah, so so I hope you guys enjoyed this video and comment, rate, and subscribe. Hi to all of my new subscribers as well as my old ones. I love you guys for staying subscribed and rocking with me even though I haven't been posting any videos. I'm sorry. I'm back and let's get to this video. So we'll start off with the MAC stuff. I got mostly, well, I got, I got all cheap products from MAC. Um in this haul that I have to show you. So let's just start off with the MAC stuff. I went to MAC and the first thing I got from MAC was the Luster Drops in Pink Rebel. I've been wanting to try these out ever since they came out um, like last summer I think it was. They became permanent in the line. So I've been wanting to try these out ever since then. Never got around to it. Finally got some. Love it. Um, I kind of swatched some very lightly on the back of my hand so you guys can like see what it would look like on your skin if you can even see that. But um, I really like this product. You can mix it into your foundation and it'll give you like that really nice glowy effect or you can just use it to highlight on the tops of the cheeks, down the bridge of the nose, um, whatever you really want to use to do this. Blah, what? <laughs> whatever you really want to do to use this product, you can basically do it. Um, I love it for highlighting. It's great for that just like soft glow. Um, it's really nice everyday highlight, so I really like this. Sticking to the highlighters, I got my first MSF and I picked it up in Soft and Gentle. I actually owned this one before and took it back because I was just not pleased with the one that I had. Um, I swatched it in the store and it looked really pretty, but then I got it home and it was like really like purpley, taupey kind of color. Like it was just, it was not. I didn't like it at all, so I took it back. But this one is gorgeous, and I love it. And that's it swatch right there. You guys don't really need me to swatch this because I'm probably the last person on earth to buy it. But, yeah, I'm actually wearing it right now on my cheeks and, like, down my nose to highlight. I've been wearing this every day since I got it. It's my new favorite highlighter. I love it. I picked up two cream color bases, which you guys probably have already seen a million times if you don't own it already. Um... I got this one here, and this is Improper Copper, which is just a bronzy, um, golden um, cream base. It's a frost finish, so it's super, like, metallic. Great for uh, bronzing up the skin or uh, putting on the apples of your cheeks for just, like, a nice glowy finish. So I really like that. And then I got Pearl Cream Color Base, which is also a frost. This one I love for highlighting. Like, I got this one towards the end of summer, like around August. Um, and as you can see, I put a nice dent in it uh, already. I actually haven't been using it lately because I feel like this is, this is kind of like more summery. But I would definitely wear this like at night um, for a highlight. This is so pretty. Love this. And then the last thing I got from MAC was just a powder blush. 
and this is Style. It's, um, style is also a frost finish, and this is like if NARS, Taj Mahal, and Orgasm had a baby, this is the blush that they would produce. This is like my favorite summertime blush. I also got this towards the end of summer, like August, and I wear this every single day, like every single day. You cannot catch me not in this blush. Like, it's so pretty. I'm telling you. I don't care what skin tone you are, I don't care how light you are, how dark you are, I don't care if you think you can't pull off orange, I'm telling you, try this blush, you're going to love it, because I love it, because it's love. <laughs> okay, so to Sephora, I got some Illamasqua products, because I would want to try um, Illamasqua since they came out, and... Um, everybody always has good things to say about their products, so I already knew that they were amazing stuff, so I had to get me some. So I got their brow cake, which, first of all, how cute is their packaging? Firstly, to die. So I got the brow cake, and this is in Thunder, which is a dark brown one. Mine looks all gross and stuff because I've been using it with the sealing gel, which comes in a tiny little cute bottle like this. And you just basically like squeeze it out into the brow cake and then dip your brush in there and do your brows. And it lasts all day. Um, this is perfect for oily skin, my oily skin girls. This is perfect for um, if you're going to be out on the go all day and you're not going to have time to touch up your makeup if you do your brows with these two products they will not budge at all they will be looking perfect all day i love this this is definitely something i will repurchase again and again and again i love this the next thing i got from illamasqua was a cream blush this is in the color Laid. I don't know if you can see that. My camera is not going to focus. But this is the color Laid. And it is like a purpley, hot pink, bam, in your face kind of color. Like, it is so pigmented. Like, look at that. You know what I'm saying? Um, but the texture of it is so creamy and just blendable. But it kind of like goes to a powdery finish once you blend it into your skin it's really nice so that's a swatch of it like blend it out on the back of my hand super pigmented really pretty they're really good on their pigmentation of their products because this seriously is gonna like last me forever like one dab like I'll use clean finger one dab look at that look at that like that's crazy so I got this And then the last thing I got from Illamasqua was their powder foundation, which, once again, super cute packaging. Um, mine looks like this. I've already used it. So this is actually my second one of these, which shows you how much I love it. This I like better than, um, what's it called, MAC Studio Fix powder. I like it better than the... Um, What's it called? I'm having a brain fart right now. What's it called? Um, oh my gosh, what's it called? I like it better than the Makeup Forever Dual Matte Powder. Um, this is just like my ultimate number one favorite powder. It matches my skin perfectly. It is milded. Milded. Is that a word? It's finely milled and it just blends seamlessly into your skin. So if you're looking for a really good um, matte powder foundation that's going to like match you perfectly, and just blend like a dream. I recommend Elamasca. Definitely recommend Elamasca. Okay, so moving on. Um, I also want to try some Laura Mercier stuff because once again, I don't have any Laura. I did well. I didn't have any Laura Mercier products in my collection. And once again, it's another one of those brands that you just know are, is going to produce great stuff. So um, I had to get my uh, tinted moisturizer. For oil free, I mean for oil free. I had to get a tinted moisturizer for oily skin, and my color is walnut. I really like this tinted moisturizer. It is 
the only high end Tissa Moisture I've ever used or tried out before, but I really like it. Um, so I don't really want to say too much about it because I don't know like what other what other types of high end Tissa Moisturizers would be like because I've only used this one. But I really do like it. The coverage is really good. It feels really moisturizing on my skin. And it really gives great coverage. Did I say that already? It gives really good coverage for it to be a tinted moisturizer. So this got two thumbs up from me. So I really like this. I also got the Laura Mercier um, Secret Camouflage Concealer. And mine is in number 7 looks like this. I got this also a few months ago. Um, as you can tell, I use the lighter side a lot more than the dark side. Um, in the summertime, I can mix the two to get my perfect color, but right now, this is my perfect color, so I don't need to do any mixing. Um, love this concealer. If you got, like, acne scarring or you just need some really heavy-duty full coverage, but you still want to look natural, this is the concealer to buy. Definitely love this. Then the last thing I got from Laura Mercier was her, uh, what's this called? In, it, no, what? Universal Invisible Loose Setting Powder. And it comes in a jar like this. And what I love about this is that it's a twist off, so it's good for traveling. And also it has that, like, this sifter thingy where you can, like, twist it and, and close it. Let me just show you. You can, like, close it up so, like, none of the powder would come out. So this is great for if you're on the go a lot, um, and you like you just throw this in your bag, don't have to worry about it spilling all over the place. This is the best invisible or translucent powder that I've ever tried. I like this better than the MAC Prep and Prime. I like it better than the Makeup Forever setting powder. I just love this powder. Like This is hands down my favorite, and I definitely will repurchase this. I got two new NARS blushes. Um, the first one here is Madly, which I don't know if that's going to focus. But Madly is just like a like a nude peachy apricot color. It's very shimmery. And it's just like the perfect there but not there blush. Um, that's it swatched right here on my wrist. I don't know if you can even see that, but... That's it on my hand, and I really like this just for every day. If you just want to look, like, really just put together with a nice soft sheen to the cheeks, this is, like, the perfect blush if you're around my skin tone. Um, that's what it does for me. So, I picked up, uh, I picked up Madly. <laughs> then I also got, um, Angelica, which I don't think that's going to show. Why am I showing you these names like they're going to focus? But I got Angelica blush, which is kind of like um, like a purpley pink color with tons of silver shimmers. And I'm actually wearing it. I don't know if you can tell because my lighting is kind of like iffy. But I'm actually wearing this right now. Um, the shimmers don't really come off on the cheeks as much as it looks like they would in the pan. But that's fine. I really got this for the color of it. And I love this blush. It's like the blush I grab for if I'm like going out at night or just going somewhere special. Like I always grab for this blush. Um, ever since I got it, that is. And it's been like maybe three months now since I've had this one. Two, three months, something like that. I don't know. But I've barely put a dent in it, and I've been using it like crazy. That's how pigmented it is, and that's how little bit you need to go a long way. So, got Angelica. And the last NARS product that I got was their concealer. And toffee is my color like that it's just a um a yellow toned caramel color and i love i really like this for under eye concealing um covers everything doesn't budge really good really 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 good concealer so if you're looking for like another heavy duty concealer for like under eyes or just in general if you're looking for a really good concealer i really would recommend either nars um, the stick concealers, the ones that come in the little lip gloss, I mean the lipstick casings, either the NARS or, um, the Laura Mercier Secret Camouflage, like, hands down, the best. The best. Oh, 
Okay, the last things I want to show you guys in this haul before I wrap up this video are um, a couple of, well, one's a mascara, one's a brow gel. But um, this I was actually talked into getting by the girl who was helping me, and this is just the Anastasia brow gel. This is actually when I went to buy the Ella Masca brow cake, and um, she was just asking me about, you know, do I use a brow gel? And I was like, no, you know, I just you know, use clear mascara, whatever, but then, so she used this on me, and I don't know, I just kind of like fell for it, so I had to get it, um, it's just the Anastasia Clear Brow Gel, um, really basic, just the clear brow gel, just like it, just like it says, um, I like the brush on it, it's like really fat, so it's gonna like grab all your eyebrow hairs and everything and groom them really into place really well, so I got that, and then, um, I got the Clinique, um, bottom lash mascara, and I actually really, really, really like this. Um, I've been intrigued to try it out ever since it came out, just never really got around to it because I just kind of felt like it was a little gimmicky, but this mascara literally grabs every single hair follicle underneath your eyes, you guys, like... <laughs> And it's so cute. Like, look how tiny it is. And it got, like, decorations on it and stuff. You gotta get it. It's so cute. So, yeah. I just had to, like, <laughs> go a little crazy. Okay, I got a couple more things I forgot to show you really quick. So, I went to Topshop. Just to look around, because I've heard they have really nice makeup. And the girl who works there was actually telling me that the same manufacturers who make MAC makeup make top shops makeup so it's basically kind of the same quality which which is understandable when you look at their prices because i didn't think that top shop makeup was going to be that expensive but anyway that's neither here nor there um so i got a uh as well as it says cheeks talk the <laughs> it says cheeks top shop on it and the packaging is super cute but um i think it's called an all over stick and this is the color luminous luminous luminescence yeah this is the color luminescence and i picked this up because it reminds me so much of stereo rose msf by mac the limited edition one that everybody went crazy over and nobody got a chance to get because everybody went out and got it as soon as it hit the shelves so Obviously, I missed out, and I'm a little PO'd about it, but, um, yeah, this is what that reminds me of. It just gives you that really nice, rosy, slightly golden undertoned uh, sheen, and this also kind of dries to a powdery finish, so I like that about that, because it um, indicates that it's going to last long. I haven't actually worn it yet. <laughs> Shame on me. But I am really excited to, and you can use it on your eyes, your cheeks, your lips, your body, or wherever you want to slap this baby on, you can put it there. So, And then the last thing I got was just this, um, the Evian Mr. Spray, the, the makeup setting spray stuff, water, whatever, this stuff. Um, they come two in a pack, and I actually really like it. The mist on it is very fine, so it's not going to just be like splashes of water all over your face um but i i like it so far um i'm just looking for something to replace my uh what's this called the fix plus by mac so tried it out and i'm liking it so far so that might be my new thing okay so i obviously need to go to bed you guys thank you so much for sticking around through this entire video because with all of my quirkiness i just would have been like this crazy girl <laughs> But thank you guys so much for sticking around if you made it to the end of this video because I know I can be all over the place sometimes and I can't even keep up with myself. So if you made it to the end of this video, you're super awesome. I am talking so fast. I hope you guys enjoyed um, my new products because I definitely have been. Um, comment down below. Let me know if you want to see like a review on anything or a tutorial or whatever. Just comment. Let me know so I can know what type of videos you guys want to see in the future future um once again hi to all of my new subscribers as well as my old ones i love all of you guys you're all awesome um and until my next video i'll see you guys later